So the virtual conference has come to an end. We've had a fantastic week. We've covered a huge amount of content and details and topics that we'd never be able to do in a physical conference. I'd really like to thank the speakers, the team that have really engaged with this and are behind uh, the work that they've done in terms of bringing this together. Um, it's fantastic that we've managed to get out to a wider audience. We've had great feedback, participating in the polls, uh, and we kind of want to continue that conversation now as we move forward. And we've got an extra special uh, as part of this where we've uh, had a conversation with our MPs and asked them about some of their highlights in 2020 and looking forward in this economic climate, what are the things that they're really keen to see in that Worcestershire develops over the coming 12 months. So 2020 has obviously been a very, very challenging year for the economy, but we're looking to build back better, investing in places like this and making sure that in the future we have the high value jobs that we attract to Worcestershire. Worcestershire Parkway Station has been the infrastructure highlight of 2020 here in Worcestershire and we're really looking forward in 2021 to seeing Carrington Road Bridge doubling, to seeing a Pershaw Link Road and improvements to Pershaw Station. People worked very well together here in Worcestershire during the floods that we had early in 2020 and we managed to keep the county open for business. And it's wonderful that we've also secured more funding for flood defences. And thank you for all your help. We'll be building more flood resilience in 2021. It's my pleasure to join the Worcestershire Lab Virtual Conference. And can I just start by thanking you all for all the fantastic work you've been doing for years. And it's great to see the results of that. Here in Bromsgrove, uh, we have started a number of big projects thanks to the work that you, the councillors and so many others have been doing, including improvement to our local infrastructure and roads, especially the A38 Improvement Programme and the Bromsgrove Road Enhancement Scheme. Because you know as businesses, all those links are absolutely vital in generating more and more business, more and more opportunities. We've also managed to see a record investment in broadband infrastructure, more important than ever, over 96% of Bromsgrove already connected by super fast broadband or even better. And as we look ahead, especially into the next year, we know that we're gonna have some incredibly tough economic challenges. The economic climate has never been so tough in living memory. We all know why, but I know that we can rise to the challenge. I know there's many things that we're going to have to do together. If there's one thing I can urge you all to focus on, that is investment in skills, especially for our young people and those people that will need to retrain as they find they lose their jobs. Sad to see, but we want to get them back into work as quickly as possible. And that means business, local government, national government, working together to reskill our people. Once again, thank you very much for what you're doing and enjoy your conference. So here in Redditch, we're continuing to unlock the town's full potential and we won't allow coronavirus to blow us off course. Despite the challenges we've all faced this year, Redditch is continuing to see investment, ensuring that our economy bounces back from the hit it has taken. We made a further step forward in our vision for an improved train station for Redditch with the announcement over the summer of an additional £1 million funding from the government's Getting Building Fund to help kickstart this project. The Redditch Rail Quarter and the Interchange is one of five schemes that underpin our prospectus for growth and it sets out the ambition to reinvent Redditch as a vibrant town centre in Worcestershire. The railway station is an important gateway into our town but at the moment it gives a poor impression of Redditch for anyone arriving by train. The vision is for this location to be significantly upgraded and regenerated with new investment in the railway station building and car park, the comprehensive redevelopment of adjacent vacant land and high quality public rail improvements and improved connectivity into the town centre. As for 2021, I'm looking forward to Redditch's ambitious town deal bid being submitted so we can access the up to £25 million funding from central government. The town deal I secured for Redditch will truly enable us to continue to unlock our town's potential in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. Hello, I'm Nigel Huddleston, the Member of Parliament for Mid Worcestershire. 
Now, we all know that we live in very challenging and uncertain times, but Worcestershire continues to be a dynamic and resilient area of the country and a great place to invest. And in the last year or so, we've seen some great developments in Worcestershire. Um, for example, the opening of the Worcestershire Parkway station was a great moment and we can see people's hard work paying off. I visited the station multiple times through its construction and it was a long time coming, spending about 30 years in development. And it was great to see the first train arrive at Worcestershire's first new railway station for over a hundred years. It's a real stepping stone for more connectivity across the country and faster and better train routes. Looking ahead to next year, I'm sure we'll see a lot of exciting products happening in Worcestershire. And being a 5G testbed, for example, means that we'll be right at the centre of the world's digital infrastructure and will make a meaningful difference to my constituents' lives. I'm also regularly contacted by constituents about the traffic on the A46. In fact, I spend a lot of time stuck in traffic jams myself. And it's important for the people in the local area to know that they can get from home to work or school or into town quickly without having to wait in standstill traffic. I know that Worcestershire Lep have been working with Midlands Connect to find a way to open up the Midlands more with better infrastructure connecting the east to the west via the A46. Now their 20 year plan sets out how we can improve this road and the A46 was mentioned by the Chancellor back in March as being in line for investment. So I'm looking forward to watching developments very closely and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. So I'm Mark Garnier, I'm the Member of Parliament for Wild Forest and I have to say there's an awful lot of things to be pleased about in uh, Wild Forest and, and in particular Kidderminster at the moment, uh, notwithstanding of course COVID-19. Uh, I'm here outside Kidderminster Railway Station where we've just had a very very significant investment put into the uh, local station here. Uh, as you can see it is bright, it is shiny but much more importantly it is fit for the 21st century. And we've also got disabled access so people can now get across the, uh, the platforms. Uh, without, without some great enormous palaver which was driving everybody up the wall. But it's not just a station, we've also seen £1.3 million about to be invested in uh, sorting out traffic congestion at the Worcester Road Island. Uh, we've also seen uh, just under a million pounds being put into Kidderminster College in order to have a, uh, a building skills uh, academy set up. We've also got the kickstart coming in with more apprentices uh, being delivered uh, throughout Wild Forest. And uh, also, opposite me at the moment, just adjacent to the Kidderminster Railway Station, the Severn Valley Railway has also just received a £900,000 uh, Heritage Lottery Fund grant in order to help beef it up. So despite all the negative stuff about COVID-19 and the shutdown and the difficulties, there is some very, very good news coming through here in Wild Forest. So thank you to everybody at the LEP for all you do. It's been great to work with the LEP over the last year on some of the skills agenda and to see the delivery of projects like the Hereford and Worcester Group Training Association's Vocational Centre of Excellence in Worcester. Um, the great progress that's been made on careers advice um, that saw us highlighted as one of the strongest areas of the country and to see some of our key infrastructure projects like Worcestershire Parkway and the Southern Link Road uh, expansion around Worcester uh, move forward. I know the LEP has played an important role uh, in supporting those. It's been good to see some of the work that the LEP did in previous years like Cathedral Square making progress with the restaurants uh, thriving right up until the outbreak of the pandemic but of course all businesses have been impacted uh, over the last year by the pandemic and I think it's vital that the LEP has been able to step up to the plate, uh, provide support and advice to businesses with the furlough scheme, with business grants uh, and as we move forward uh, with schemes like Kickstarter and the job support scheme to make sure we can focus on protecting as many jobs in the county as possible. Looking ahead, I'm looking forward to supporting the LEP in getting our infrastructure projects finished. Things like the Southern Link will make a massive difference to businesses and expansion uh, in Worcester, to campaigning alongside the LEP for faster uh, train times and more regular uh, train services in the county for the upgrades we all want to see uh, to broadband. But crucially, I, I think as MPs, we all want to work with you to meet that ambition of creating 25,000 new jobs in the county by 2025. Uh, we need those jobs more than ever, uh, unfortunately, thanks to the economic challenges and headwinds uh, that we're currently facing. Uh, but I believe the, the LEP can make a crucial uh, contribution to that. So I'm looking forward to working with you on, on bids such as the Worcester Towns Fund bid uh, to make sure we can deliver jobs and skills for our city and our county. Thanks for that feedback from our MPs. Um, it's been great in terms of working towards that vision of connected, creative, dynamic economy. Um, and I really want to see... 
Um, plenty of people can find out more and continue those conversations. Uh, and we'll certainly make the content available through our YouTube channel. Keep an eye on our website and our newsletter if you want to sign up for more information. Um, and thank you to all our partners that have really made this possible.